What's in the box? All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing an unboxing video and installation on my new set of Bath Sound speakers that I received from Bath Sound. Hashtag ad. Anyway, these speakers are going to replace my 20 year old Harman Kardon speakers, which I have already replaced in the past. The current Harman Kardon speakers that I have are in good condition. However, 20 year old technology speakers versus 2022 technology speakers. I'm sure there's a big difference and I'm very much looking forward to listening to that. Thankfully, Bath Sound was gracious enough to send me a full set to replace my current stock Harman Kardon speakers. So let's go ahead and unbox these, uh, show you how they package it, show you what's inside the package, what you would receive if you were to buy a set of Bath Sound speakers. So let's get to it. All right, so let's get to unboxing each box individually. So. First off, we're gonna start here on our left side. So we have the Bav Sound tweeter and mid-ranges that go to the front doors and rear doors. So let's start with the tweeters. So each box has a label on the side to tell you what it is. Uh, also, each box comes with this little sticker that says, important to install your tweeter slash mid-ranges, you must use the included harnesses. And they're telling you right now, use their harnesses. Because if you don't, you might screw it up. Here is the speaker. It comes in this nice foam packaging. Uh, but here is the mid-range. What? I'm sorry. Here is the tweeter. But here is the mid-range and it's wrapping. Uh, again, very high quality. I can already tell right now that these are much better quality than the factory Harman Kardon speakers. We're going to go with the big boys right now. We've got the mid-range driver pairs. So this is the one that goes in the front door and the rear deck. So they also have I like this little neat part. It says the road is waiting. What's your soundtrack? There's that. Already liking the quality. I'm liking what I see right now. Uh, very well put together. And again, these are plug and play speakers. There aren't any other companies on the market right now that sell plug and play speakers for BMWs or E46s specifically. Next, we have all of our harnesses. So we have our mid range harness, uh, two of those E6000 glue front tweeters. Please excuse my roommates, they are playing Modern Warfare 2. We've got our tweeter harness and front uh, speaker harness. This is the Bav Sound Universal Toolkit. Look at that. Comes with Torx bits, uh, an adapter there. This came with a lot and I really appreciate that. Uh, I believe this will come in handy, not just for the installation, but in general for other maintenance needs. So, Universal Toolkit. I think it's time to install these awesome speakers. So let's get to it. All right, so let's get started. So we're gonna start off with the rear base speaker or the rear deck speaker. Um, that's this one back here. So I've done this one too many times already. I've already replaced the passenger side with bath sound speakers, uh, but we're gonna do a full install on the driver side. So the tools you'll need for the rear deck speaker is a little ratchet and an eight, mil eight millimeter socket, a uh, plastic prying tool for the speaker cover, and the pick that they also, that Bath Sound supplies with the universal toolkit for the speaker cover. And of course your new replacement Bath Sound base speaker. So let's go ahead and put it in the car. All right, so let's get started with the rear deck speaker. So for the rear speaker cover, I have already pried a little bit off uh, for the sake of time because it's a little tricky and I don't want to break this because these speaker covers in itself are $80 each. It's brand new. So what you want to do is there's about, I want to say eight clips around the whole speaker cover and you just want to pry up near the, those tabs that are inserted into the rear deck. So I found it easier to use this pick right here. 
to pry the little clips out, the little tabs. So I just gotta feel around and see where the tabs are. So you see that how it just popped up right there? You wanna continue that around, just keep going around until you pry all of them out. The rears might be the hardest ones to get out, but again, this pry tool right here definitely solves all your issues. Uh, but here's the, here's the rear of that. So now for the removal of the speaker. So you wanna keep this little foam piece here. And now we bring in the eight millimeter socket and ratchet. So you just wanna take the, the three sockets that are holding this in. Or I'm sorry, the three bolts that are holding this in. Small little ratchet like this until, so with that, you wanna pull out the speaker to reveal the plug that goes into the speaker you just want to press the two tabs here and remove it and there you go the speaker is now free there is a whole installation guide on Vap Sounds website which I will drop in the description for installing these speakers so you'll know exactly which wires go to which uh, but I can tell you in the video as well so this black and red wire is your negative that will go into the brown wire, I believe, like so. So it just plugs in like that. And then the red wire goes into the yellow. That's about as far as they'll go. You can see it there. So that's it. And after that, You just want to gracefully put the bath sounds, insert the bath sound speaker into the little cubby. We can put these bolts back in. Put your little phone cover back on and then the speaker cover. Just insert that and voila. All right, so let's get started with replacing the rear door speaker which is located right here so first you'll need a, a t20 socket to replace or to remove the four bolts that is holding this door panel or actually I take that back five bolts that are hit, holding this door panel in and a plastic pry tool to remove the door panel and its clips so first we're going to start with this trim piece right here so you just want to easily nicely pry this off you can usually just use your finger at this point uh, well, as you can see, unfortunately, this just came out. All right, cool. T20 bolts that are holding in the door panel. And these little plastic clips hold in it or cover those holes, but I just took them out. Uh, so we can go ahead and get started. What are you honking at? Uh, let's unplug that. And then one more bolt holding in the door panel. Let's go ahead and start breaking the, or not breaking, but unclipping the door panel clips. All right, so now that the, all the door panel, all the clips are freed, we just have these up top, these little tabs up top. It's kind of hard to get off. Come on. Come on out. Oh, I hate that. All right. Now I forgot that I replaced my rear tweet or rear mid ranges with non Harman Kardon speakers, but thankfully I have an extra set of Harman Kardons laying around, so I was able to go ahead and do the proper install with the bracket and everything. It's very easy to remove. You literally just spin it off like so, and it reveals the speaker. So here's my destroyed Harman Kardon speaker. It is literally terrible. Then we have my non-Harman Kardon speaker, which is in good shape. Uh, and then we have the Bab Sound speaker. So here's all three in one. There you go. I already put the harnesses that came with 
the kit, we have the harness that plugs into it. And after that, we just reinstall. There's a plugs here you want to unplug, like so. There we go. Cool. So you just want to push this out like so. Out comes the mid-range. Three fill screws that holds this guy in. So let's go ahead and do that. Here's my since replaced Harman Kardon speaker. Uh, again, in good shape. There's no issues with it. I have custom made Harman Kardon uh, door speaker covers. Uh, it was made by a guy, uh, a friend of mine on Instagram. His name's Anthony. Shout out to Anthony for making these. I really like them and I would not mind having another set, but maybe this time in bath style. Who knows? It only goes in one orientation. You gotta line up the bolts or the holes with the holes. So we gotta take this guy out now. Uh, there's clips that hold in the speaker. This one's kind of a pain to get out. Here's the speaker that I have since fixed because it was damaged. I bought like a speaker repair kit and glue this around so it'll have some sort of foam. Now, Harman Kardon covers are different than regular covers. Is the Harman Kardons are actually longer than hi-fi regular speakers. So keep that in mind. Make sure when you do buy this kit, you specify what your car has, whether it's Harman Kardon or not, because these fit in specific covers. For the mid-range for the front door mid-ranges same goes for the rear doors like i said when you saw the comparison with the brackets uh they're different comparison between the two repaired Harman Kardon versus brand new bab sound there's a little notch that this sits in and you just insert it like so all right so let's go ahead and do the final speaker on this car it is the tweeter there are two tabs clips that hold this little plastic piece on i have since removed them because they are a pain to get off you will need this to remove them and basically what you're going to do you're going to pry you're going to try your best to get this thing underneath use a pick or this to pry it out or you are going to pry this back like so and it's going to reveal this one little bolt right here so not little it's kind of decently sized so what we're gonna do is just unscrew this one bolt safely. And you didn't just wanna unplug it, like so. All right, there's that. Keep track of your bolt. Don't let it fall out of place like I let mine. Uh, tweeter versus the Harman Kardon tweeter. Uh, major difference here, like, uh, it, this looks like a speaker, a little tiny speaker. I don't know what this is, honestly. I mean, I guess for its time, it was okay, but it's 2022. This is what we're doing now. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you now where I place my tweeter harness, uh, which is this guy right here. Uh, so before I install the speaker, this is where I put the tweeter harness. Uh, this glue has already made it look like trash, but yeah, this is where it's nice and tucked away, so when the tweeter goes in, it's just gonna plug into here, uh, and then this plugs into here. It's nice and tight. The wires aren't stressed out, uh, and it, once it's covered, it'll, it'll look clean. So just a heads up on that. Uh, that's where I put my tweeter harness. Once you have the uh, bracket here installed on your tweeter, 
Uh, let's go ahead and put it back on the car. The speaker is now in the tweeter. Uh, let's go ahead and plug it into its harness. Our reinstallation is the same as removal. And from here, we are going to time lapse starting. Go do the sound comparison between Harman Kardon and Bav Sound. So this is before the install. We're gonna start off with Harman Kardon. What I just showed you guys was the Harman Kardon original sound system in his car. None of these speakers are blown. This is the highest quality Harman Kardon we're going to get. But one thing I've noticed and something that's been bugging me for a while is the distortion sounds that come out of the speakers. With certain songs that have a lot of reverb, the speakers buzz, especially the, the bass speakers. My aftermarket head unit has sort of remedied that because it was worse with the original business radio. Here's hoping that the bass house speakers remedy that issue and we're going to see if we can push the full potential out of uh, what, this, what these speakers have to offer and what this car has to offer. Uh, in stock form. Two weeks later. I'll be going in and out recessions the same way that I'll be going in and out of Texas. For all I feel like I could lift a tree up. See too many cameras, so I never lift my ski up. Major distribution labels call me. Bad bunny numbers, it's a robbery. 500 million just for Aubrey. Okay. So what you guys just listened to was the Bav Sound Stage 1 kit installed in my car. I will say this kit has been installed in my car now for about two weeks. I know there's a break-in period that's supposed to happen. So basically, I haven't really been blasting music in my car these last two weeks. I've just been letting it, you know, get used to sound being projected through the speakers. Overall, I'm very pleased with how this turned out and how the uh, speakers sound. There's a lot of clarity now coming from the tweeters and the mid ranges specifically. I can really hear the vocals now compared to before where it just sound like muffled mess. And the bass is a lot stronger coming from the front door and the rear deck. So overall, I'm very, very pleased with this new setup and the ease of install. You honestly, you just can't beat it. And pairing it with an aftermarket head unit, I mean, that's win, win, win. Uh, that's, that's, that's a great setup. So overall, I would definitely recommend I think Bab Sound is the way to go. With that said, I appreciate you guys watching the video as always, and I hope it provides some information on how to install these speakers and also the real world application of them being inside an E46. Uh, whether you choose to buy these speakers based off of my opinions and my experiences, that's up to you, but the best I could do is provide that for you. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, and we're gonna close out the video with a special outro through my new Bab Sound speakers. Mm -hmm.